in today's video, I'm going to build the world's best youth team. In every position, we're going to sign one amazing talent, starting with the right wing position. Lamine Yamal is absolutely incredible. Place for Barcelona, very similar to Messi. I just don't get how Barcelona keep producing these super talents. This kid is actually so young that he's not even eligible to be on FIFA 23. We had to use mods to get him into the game. And so Lamine Yamal is the first player we're adding into our youth team. He's just 62 rated and we had to pay 4.25 million for him. It's going to be interesting to see how much this team costs at the end. And that's the first player we're adding to our team. This is just the start, guys. Some of the players we're adding to this team are going to be even more insane. Like our right back, Rico Lewis. Guardiola thinks that at the age of 18, he's good enough to start. There are games where he often looks unbelievably good. And if Pep trusts him, so should we. And so the second player to join the team, Rico Lewis. Funny thing is, we actually paid 4 million to get him. Lamine Yamal, who is like 8 overalls below him, Bruh. was more expensive. Oh man, that right side with Yamal and Lewis is already looking insane. And it better be. Because once we build our team, we're going to be putting the youth FC to a test. We'll be seeing how quickly this team can grow and rise from the EFL League to all the way to the Premier League. And maybe even the Champions League. It's now time to bring in the goalkeeper of this squad and it's Andre Gomez from Benfica. Honestly, finding a young, talented keeper was actually pretty difficult because normally clubs prefer to have a lot of experience in that position but Andre Gomez was kind of like the anomaly. This kid looks good and it's Benfica. They always produce youth talents. And so for 1 million, the world's best youth team now has their goalkeeper. So far, we've added an attacker, a defender and even a goalkeeper to this team. Maybe it's time for the midfield. And so for the CDM position, we're choosing Romeo Lavia. This kid last season at the age of 18 played 29 Premier League games for Southampton. That is incredible. And apparently Liverpool, Chelsea and plenty of other clubs want him. He's got to be in our team. For just 3.2 million, we're adding one of the most talented defensive midfielders to our team. So far, we've signed four players to our youth team and it's only costed us 13 million. I think FIFA really undervalues youngsters in game. But hey, that's good for us. By the way, guys, while we're building this team, I would really appreciate if you could spare a moment and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 800k subscribers and I need your help. It's time to bring in the centre-backs of this team and we're starting with Giorgio Scalvini. This kid is literally the next Chiellini. Funny thing is they also share their first names and honestly, what a talent. I'm glad he's 19 because if he was 20, we couldn't have signed him. I cannot believe that Scalvini only costed me 4 million to bring into this team. Even after all the signings we've made, Lamine Yamal, who is literally the lowest rated player, he's still been the most expensive. The partner, Scalvini, we've literally got one of the youngest centre-backs out there, Lenny Yoro, at 17. This kid is often a starter for Lille. And so he's the next super talent to join our team. So far, the team is definitely coming together. The defence looks sorted. But trust me, some of the players we've got left are absolute mega talents. And Warren Zayed Emery is one of them. This kid is the youngest goal scorer in the history of PSG. Now, that is some record considering PSG have had incredible players like Kylian Mbappe and more. And honestly, even at the age of 17, he still gets a fair bit of game time at PSG. Off the bench, he's amazing. And I'm sure soon he's going to be a starter. And also look at him in game. At the age of 17, he's already 71 rated. I'm trying to sign him now and I definitely think he's going to be more expensive than, of course, Lamine Yamal. So there you go. That record's gone. And so Warren Zayed Emery is a worthy inclusion to the youth team. We've signed six of the most talented players in football right now and it's only costed us about 23 million. But that's going to change because the next player we're adding is Alejandro Balde from Barcelona. Probably the most talented left back in the world right now. I genuinely feel he's going to be the best in his position in three to four years. And that's why we just paid 20 million to bring him into our youth team. Whoa, Balde is definitely the highest rated player in this team so far. But we still got three more players to sign and they're all good positions. A midfielder, a striker and a left winger. Alejandro Garnacho is who we're going for for that left wing position. Ever since he's joined Manchester United, you can literally see he's he's different gravy. Although that hairstyle he's got right now could be a reason to get him out of our team. But nah, for now we'll let that slide. Look at those stats, man. Yeah, Garnacho deserves to be in this team. Garnacho joins our team, making it even more unbelievable. Can you imagine these two, Garnacho and Balde on the same wing? It's now time to complete the midfield of this team. And of course, guys, Davi was obviously going to be a part of this team. There's no way we wouldn't include him. 
Honestly though, how does Barcelona always end up producing talents like this? It's it's crazy. This is going to be their third player in our starting 11. And Gavi is by far going to be the most expensive one. In real life, this guy would literally cost about 100 million. But I think we can get away with about 50 in game. Let's see. And well, 51.5. That works. Barcelona are going to be so angry with us because we've taken another one of their players. This time, it's Gavi. We now just need a striker to complete the starting 11. And Endrick from Real Madrid was definitely an option. A Brazilian striker, he would definitely be insane. But honestly, I don't think we can skip past Evan Ferguson, a proven talent in the Premier League. At the age of 18, he's out here scoring goals for Brighton in the Prem. And so I think it's got to be him. With the signing of Evan Ferguson, we've completed our first team of unbelievable youth talents. So after just spending about 103 million, we've just built one of the most talented teams in football. Yep, the players here are unpolished but in a few years time these could be some of the best in the world and we're gonna be putting that to a test but before that i definitely think we need to add a bench to this team but the bench we've added players that just about missed being in the starting 11 endrick in the striker position arda guller as well job bellingham the younger brother of jude vermeeren as well we've got fresneda bichiabu and slonina these are all some of the world's best talents and time to see how quickly they can climb the football divisions. Season 1 ends and I'm not surprised at all the world's best youth team has managed to easily secure promotion. Not only that, they managed to win a trophy too. But most importantly, look at that player growth. Zaire Emery 76, Gavi 86 as well, Balde 82. I really can't see anything stopping them from getting to the Premier League. Yup, these kids are too good. It's direct promotion now to the championship. In just two seasons, we've already got our first 90 rated player in Gavi. Balde 87, Look at Lamine Yamal as well growing incredibly quickly. Guys, in honestly a couple of seasons time, this team is going to be scary good. Nah, dude, this U team we've built is actually unstoppable in three seasons. Back to back to back promotion and they're heading to the Premier League. No way. How on earth have a bunch of kids basically won the FA Cup? That is unreal. And the growth of this team continues to be insane. I, I think they could honestly even just win the Premier League next season. That would be outrageous. Okay, it looks like finally the world's best youth team met their match. The Premier League was a bit too much, at least now. But guess what, guys? Just one season in the Premier League and this team has just grown so freaking much. I don't see how next season anyone's gonna stop them. I told you guys, give the world's best youth players like a season to adapt and there you go, they've won the Premier League. Literally, guys, it took five seasons for these guys to go ahead and just dominate football and win the Premier League. Honestly, it's crazy. The first team has gone up so massively in their overall. I mean, look at Lamine Yamal. 89 rated. Those stats are insane. And even the bench has grown ridiculously well. But I want to see if they can actually win the Champions League. And would you believe it? In the following season, the world's best U team has managed to reach a Champions League final six seasons and they're on the verge of becoming the world's greatest club. It's time to see how the world's best talents are on the pitch. We've gone through six seasons of player growth, so they've gotta be insane. Nah, dude, this team is filthy. This team is filthy good. Just five minutes and one nil. While we probably had the world's most talented team, we were still facing the kings of the Champions League. Oh, we've just let Madrid through and Lautaro scores. That's what Madrid do. But even the great Real Madrid couldn't stop the team we've built. Nah, this team is absolutely cracked. Look at the run being made by Yamal and he scores. Nah, guys, the way this team just carves them open, it's it's crazy. Sire Emery, Lam I mean, Yamal, all these kids, they're just unstoppable. I think it's over, guys. This team is just way too overpowered. And there's the final goal. It's over. We literally have just created, I think, the best team I've ever used in career mode. Six seasons, guys. That's all it took for us to dominate football with the world's best talents. Maybe if we started them in a higher division, they would have done this faster. Who knows? You saw me build a team with the world's best talents. Why not watch me build a team with the world's most expensive players. Click here to watch that.